In this video, you will get to know my coach Kurt Lobbestal. He's my coach for over 10 years. He was my coach when I was a triathlete, long, long time ago. Kurt Lobbestal was also in the car behind me during the 20 minutes test. Yes, Kurt. Can, can you run us through the day? What, what exactly were we planning today? What was um, happening in preparation of this day and what is coming up? So this day was actually the end of a kind of a test protocol about altitude. Victor was at a high altitude for a, a couple of weeks and then afterwards we did a, a big training block and we wanted to see how, that, how the results were after the altitude and the training block. And that was the day to day 20 minute test uh, to see what power and what uh, FTP power uh, the result was. So, um, and that was a perfect day. Do you want to replicate this protocol for um, big championships or big goals? And is it possible in a normal season? Um, on, based on the results, sort of, uh, we, we saw the, the power, but we have to see for more. But, Based on the power now, you could say yes, but it's quite a long protocol. It's about uh, seven or eight weeks that you have to be in the altitude tent and a training period. So in a, in a race, race season, you don't always have eight weeks where you can focus, but uh, maybe for, uh, hopefully for Olympics next year, maybe we can uh, do the same protocol as we did now. And uh, can you tell us a bit more how how um, uh, we, so Kurt and Victor, got, got um, together, how we started building up a, a relationship as a coach <laughs> and, a, and an athlete, Where, how, how did it start it and how did it uh, continue? Well, long, 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 long time ago, 2008, I think, I was a trainer at the High Performance School Triathlon. And uh, one of my students was Victor. He was there uh, in fifth grade as a triathlete. Um, was Victor one of, of the most talented <laughs> triathletes you have ever seen? Um, can I skip this question? Or <laughs> no, he was very talented, yes. Uh, swimming and biking, yes. And also in running, but had a lot of injuries because he was a swimmer before. Um, so, but he, all, he also already had the talent to not to be perfect and uh, to achieve the uh, highest level. And so, uh, after two years of triathlon, he decided to to go to the to the, to the race to cycling. And uh, we always work together until now. Uh, and yeah, well, it's now 12 years. Uh, I know him quite well. Also. There were two years when I, um, when I, Victor, went to um, the Lotto Jumbo mm -hmm. cycling team after my uh, two years with Topsport Vlaanderen. Um, my first two years in the World Tour were in Lotto Jumbo. They uh, decided that we could not work together anymore. How, um, how did those two years go? How did we stay in contact? Um, and what's how was it to start again in 2018 to work together? Yeah, I always stayed updated with the training, so I, I could follow the training sessions, I followed the races, sometimes the training sessions itself. And when he, when Victor went back to Lotto Stadal, it was like, there was, it was like from one day to the other, so it was not a gap of two years, so uh, I was already uh, updated with the results and the training sessions. Also, I think it was interesting because as the way we train, we train very black and white, so polarized, very easy and very hard, not too much gray zone. And in uh, Lotto Jumbo, I was training in the gray zone almost all the time. But I think it was also interesting to see that we, we learned some things out of this that um, Sometimes the body can handle more than we... I think we, we took some notes of the, those two years and, and adapted also in the, in the 
training schedule afterwards. Yes, I, I think it was a very important step in, in your career, Victor. Although I was not your trainer, but uh, Lotto Jumbo was a high performance team. They tested a lot, they measured a lot, so uh, you learned there a lot about uh, positioning, but also about training. I'm a quite prudent trainer uh, with, uh, I'm with moderate uh, interval sessions, and um, but there we learned that uh, Victor is not a, a watcher uh, and that you sometimes can do more than we used to. So it was an important step he had to make uh, at that moment, and I guess it, it makes him to the athlete he is now. Okay, thank you Kurt. Do you have to add something more? What, what is uh, in the future? What, what will we achieve together? What is on the list of achievements? The biggest achievement will be the Olympic, Olympics and Olympic medal. I'm sure we can do that. Uh, but meanwhile there are more. We have some goals to achieve. Uh, we have some goals to achieve like uh, in a, uh, in a tour or Giro to have a stage win on a time trial. We have some medals to win on Europeans and Worlds. Uh, a lot of challenges to come. Okay. Thank you, Kurt. Welcome, Victor. This was an awesome video about my coach. Are you looking for a good coach? Maybe I can get you in contact with my coach. Contact me on victor at trainyourdream.com Thumbs up if you like the video and also thumbs up if you like my shirt.